A secondary offering is a sale of new or existing shares of a company's stock by an existing shareholder to the public. Unlike an initial public offering IPO, a secondary offering does not create new shares or dilute the ownership of the company. However, it can affect the supply and demand of the stock and its market price. Agilent Health, a company that partners with physicians to transform healthcare for senior patients, launched a secondary offering on May 15, 2023. The company announced that it would sell 70 million shares of its common stock by the selling stockholder, CD and R Vector Holdings, an affiliate of Clayton, Dubolier and Rice, a private equity firm that invested in Agilent Health in 2016. The selling stockholder also granted the underwriters a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 10.5 million shares of Agilent's common stock. Agilent Health will not receive any proceeds from the secondary offering. The company also announced that it intends to purchase approximately $200 million of common stock from the underwriters at the same per share price paid by the underwriters to the selling stockholder in the offering, net of underwriting discounts and commissions. The company plans to fund the purchase with cash on hand. The purchase is subject to the completion of the offering and is intended to reduce the number of outstanding shares and increase earnings per share. The secondary offering was launched after Agilent Health reported strong first quarter results on May 12, 2023. The company reported revenue of $1.2 billion, up 63% year-over-year, and adjusted EBITDA of $74 million, up 140% year-over-year. The company also raised its full-year guidance for revenue and adjusted EBITDA. The secondary offering is expected to close on May 19, 2023 subject to customary closing conditions. Morgan and Goldman Sachs & Co. LLC are acting as lead book running managers for the proposed offering. In this section, we will discuss how many shares were offered by the selling stockholder and at what price in Agilent Health's secondary offering. According to the company's press release, the selling stockholder, CD and R Vector Holdings, L. An affiliate of Clayton, Dubolier and Rice, LLC, launched an underwritten secondary public offering of 70 million shares of Agilent Health's common stock on May 15, 2023. The selling stockholder also granted the underwriters a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 10.5 million shares of Agilent Health's common stock. The secondary offering was priced at $32.50 per share, which implies a total gross proceeds of $2.275 billion for the selling stockholder, excluding the underwriter's option. Agilent Health did not receive any proceeds from the secondary offering. However, the company announced that it intended to purchase approximately $200 million of common stock from the underwriters at the same per share price, net of underwriting discounts and commissions. The company planned to fund the purchase with cash on hand and subject to the completion of the offering. The offering was expected to close on September 14, 2021, subject to customary closing conditions. What are the benefits and risks of investing in Agilent Health after the secondary offering? Agilent Health is a company that partners with physicians to transform healthcare for seniors by providing a value-based total care model. The company went public in April 2021 and raised $1.2 billion in its initial public offering. On May 15, 2023, the company announced the launch of a secondary offering of 70 million shares of its common stock by an affiliate of Clayton, Dubolier and Rice, LLC, one of its major investors. The company also announced that it intends to buy back $200 million of its own shares from the underwriters. So what are the benefits and risks of investing in Agilent Health after this secondary offering? One benefit is that the secondary offering could increase the liquidity and trading volume of Agilent's shares, as well as broaden its shareholder base. The company has a strong growth potential, as it operates in a large and growing market for senior health care. According to its prospectus, Agilent serves over 210,000 patients across 17 markets in 9 states, and has a total addressable market of over 58 million Medicare beneficiaries. The company also has a differentiated business model that aligns incentives with physicians and improves outcomes and satisfaction for patients. In 2020, 
the company reported a revenue of $1.2 billion, up 54% year-over-year, and an adjusted EBITDA of $64.4 million, up 238% year-over-year. Another benefit is that the share repurchase could signal the company's confidence in its future performance and create value for shareholders. The company intends to fund the repurchase with cash on hand, which was $785 million as of March 31, 2023. The repurchase could also reduce the dilution effect of the secondary offering and increase the earnings per share. However, there are also some risks involved in investing in Agilent Health after the secondary offering. One risk is that the secondary offering could put downward pressure on the share price, as it increases the supply of shares in the market. The selling stockholder also expects to grant the underwriters a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 10.5 million shares, which could further dilute existing shareholders. As of May 14, 2023, Agilent's share price was $38.50, down from its IPO price of $44. Another risk is that the company faces significant competition and regulatory uncertainty in the healthcare industry. The company competes with other healthcare providers, payers, and technology companies that offer similar or alternative solutions to senior healthcare. The company also depends on contracts with Medicare Advantage plans and other payers, which are subject to changes in reimbursement rates, policies, and regulations. The company warns that any adverse changes in these factors could materially affect its business, financial condition, and results of operations. Therefore, investing in Agilent Health after the secondary offering has both benefits and risks that investors should weigh carefully before making a decision.